hello guys welcome to free shiksha before i start this video i have to tell you that we are getting a very good response we are getting lots of comments lots of mails regarding the itj preparation i s e e t preparation thanks a lot guys for your support keep writing to us because your comments your feedback helps us make better videos so today's topic is going to be gravitation okay and this is going to be a level 1 video wherein we just discuss the concepts this is going to be good for your uh, cbse level paper or board level paper so what is gravitation gravitation is nothing but you can observe that in daily life anything which is left in mid air on earth falls on the earth so it was actually observed first by newton one of the greatest scientists that ever lived on earth so he was sitting under a an apple tree and he saw an apple falling so it made him realize that there has to be some force he analyzed the situation and he uh, came to a conclusion that there has to be some force which makes the apple fall on earth there has to be something otherwise how can a non living object or anything how can it move so gravitation is nothing but attraction between two bodies now newton's law of gravitation this will better explain us what gravitation is each and every body in the universe attract each other this law states that every body that exists any matter that exists in the universe will attract each other force of attraction is dependent on certain parameters but the the force that exists depends on some parameters force is directly proportional to mass of both the objects so we are talking about the parameters now force that exists between two bodies the force of attraction that exists between two bodies which we call as gravitation depends on depends directly on the mass of both the objects and it depends inversely on square of distance between them r square is nothing but the square of distance between them so if we say that there are two masses one is mass m capital m one is mass small m and there is a distance of r between their centers very important to note here is that the distance should be taken from their centers center of gravity so if the distance is r between them and m and m are the two masses then we will say that force between them is equal to gmm upon r square we just now studied that it depends on the product of masses so we say that product of mass m into m divided by r square and g will be a constant so if we go back in this slide we said that f is directly proportional to mass of both the objects it is actually the product of mass that is capital m into small m and inversely proportional to distance between them that is equal to r square so m into m upon r square the force is directly proportional to m into m upon r square and hence we can include a constant g capital g and include an equal to sign so f equal to g m m upon r square is the formula for force of gravitation when it comes to earth g is equal to 6.62726 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 so for any two objects a and b here supposing the first object 
with capital mass m is is a suppose this is b so we will say that force a b equal to minus of force b a so hence whatever force this body applies on this body is equal to the force applied by this body on this body but the direction changes because this body capital m or a will attract the body the small body towards itself and this body will apply the force in the in which direction it will apply the force in in this direction whereas this mass will apply the force in this direction hence there is a negative sign in there f a b equal to minus f a b because their directions are different but mass will be will remain the same now very important things to remember are very important things to remember here are it's a force which acts in the straight line joining the centers of two body they should join the centers of the two body or the center of gravity second is it is always attractive this force of gravitation is always attractive no matter what cannot be repulsive like other forces like magnetism which can be repulsive gravitational force does not get affected by the medium which exists between the two bodies so even if there is a medium supposing if you put two bodies in water they will still attract each other with the same force and the force of gravitation will not be affected by the medium between the two bodies i hope you get it so the summary of today's lecture is we studied about an attractive force of gravitation and the formula is gmm upon r square you can very well refer back the videos if you have any other doubt thanks a lot for watching the video prepare well all the best thank you